and welcome back to part two of my FM21 tactical experiment with Barcelona. This is our 4 2 3 1 with three attacking midfielders. And in part one, you can see that I have decided to use Barcelona. I think it makes a lot more sense with the players that they have. But we are going to see how the tactic works today against a good opponent in Manchester United. Let's get into the team selection. We have Testegen, we have Alba, PK, Mtiti, Dest. Dijon and Busquet, attacking three of Messi, Coutinho and Griezmann and Ansu Fati up front. For those that have not seen part one, please go back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going straight into the game. Like I said, for those that have not seen part one, I do advise you to go back and have a look at the part one, to have a look at the instructions that we have individually and as a team. We're going to pull it as comprehensive for a little bit and focus a lot on these players ladies and gentlemen we want to focus on Messi we want to focus on Coutinho and also Griezmann those three players are going to be very important for us in this formation and we just want to have a little look again like I said it's a good team that we are playing so we can see how the tactic works but the main thing is not really about the result it's about how the tactic works can we get the attacking midfields up there supporting Ansu Fati and then working from there we are playing a slight tiki taka football but the main thing here is just to see how we get those three attacking midfielders um going it's just an experiment here to see how it would work playing three attacking midfielders and just see how we, if it works but at the moment we are being attacked and that's the interesting thing you can see though we are playing three attacking midfielders we are very compact and you can see, I think this looks more so like a counter-attack potentially you're looking at. Because if you look at our three attacking midfielders, they are really close together. They are not wide apart. Um, and you're looking more so that, you know what, as soon as we get that ball out, that's where we're going to start the counter-attack. And you can see here already, look at our attacking midfielders, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two in the outside the box and then we have um, one, we have two up front. So you know that counter-attack is really going to be on, right? Messi with the free kick just over the bar. We're just going to have a little look, maybe 10, 15 minutes into it, and then we're just going to go straight into key highlights and let it flow in itself. Slight, slight things that maybe we could, we could look at. We might get hit with the counter or wide. So a wide formation with wide wingers probably could, um, we could suffer on. But there we go, Sergio on the ball. Great ball over wide, and we're still going to have our wing backs attacking. There we go. Des takes the shot, could have potentially crossed it in. But you're having a look at the attacking three. We want to have a look at Messi, Griezmann, Coutinho, see what they do all together. There we go. Coutinho into Sergio. Messi into the ball, unlucky, just past him. We're going to have about two minutes, then we're going to go straight into it again. We're going to go into key highlights and let the game flow on its own. And you can see, again, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, they are very close together. They are not far away from each other, the three attacking midfielders. So there we go. Unlucky. De Jong still on the ball. Sergio. And again, like I said, even though we're st when we're attacking, we are, slightly, we are slightly compact and when we're defending, but we're still going to have those wide outlet with our wing backs. Again, with the corner, we should be realistically having sure. I'm not too sure why it hasn't done it. But let's see how we develop chances here. We're going to keep the ball. We're going to play short passes, but we are not going to be afraid to go wide. As you can see, there we go. Jordi Alba's made the run on the left-hand side. Let's see if we can find someone. He doesn't find anyone. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough for the comprehensive. Let's go into key highlights. So you just understand to just try and look at the position of mainly the attacking three. So they're very, very close together. So they will, they should have options together. Um, but let's have a look at our match stats, ladies and gentlemen. We've had three shots, two on target. XG is 0 0.18. Um, pass completion is 86. And we don't have a lot of possession. So that probably tells you this is not a possession-based tactic. Um, but this is more so just to see to see the experiment, to see how it works having three attacking midfielders. Obviously, maybe this formation would help with a out-and-out -out striker, maybe. 
And you know what? You could potentially maybe change the role. You could have Ansu Fati as maybe a Troquista. Maybe it's not something I would normally use. Maybe a false nine. That could help. But then you don't have someone straight in that box. Or even a, a poacher, maybe advanced forward. But again, you know, we're expecting Ansu Fati to do something that, you know, not really his position can play there, but it's not really his position. So far, we ain't seen much. But here we go. We've got a highlight here. Dijon. Long ball over to Des. As I said, we're not going to be afraid. But if you just look at the three players, they are close together. They are not far from each other. There we go. Griezmann plays it into Coutinho. But Ansu Fati and should be scoring that, to be honest with you. I'm very interested to see how it would do in the whole season and see how they would do. Um, but again, even with, if, even with the striker position, you can even look at maybe having a, a Dembele. Um, and seeing how he does um, as he's got the pace to burn. But there we go, Coutinho and Messi working together on TT. And he just he just hoofs it out. But again, you can see, I've said it a lot, you can see the players that are there, Coutinho, Messi, Griezmann, they are very close together. They are not moving away from each other. Maybe in this formation, what we could have potentially done is maybe push the wing back further up. That could potentially work. Um, but, you know, that is also dangerous as well. Um, I'm going to make a change. We're going to take Ansu Fati off. Um, we're going to put on Usami Ben Dembele. And let's see how he does. He's going to have the pace to be able to run forward with the ball with speed. I might give it about maybe 10, 15 minutes and we're going to try it with maybe pushing the fullback further up instead of as the back four. Just to see how it goes. There's different variations that you could do in with, with this tactics, I believe. But again, we're just going to just experiment on random stuff. And I think I don't think I've seen anyone play three attacking midfielders before. Um, if you have, let me know. But it's something completely different. Why, right, 63 minutes have gone. I am going to make that change now and see if maybe that makes any difference. Right. Let's see how something like that works. Can we maybe put a mentality into a positive? See how that works. 67 minutes have gone. We've had seven shots, two on target. 87% pass completion. We haven't created no clear-cut chances, though. Uh, yeah, looks like this is going to be a draw. 75 minutes have gone. We haven't seen much of a highlight. But there we have Tostegan. He's going to play out to the full to the centre-backs. And you can see we're still very wide there. We're going to still have that width on the right and left hand side and let's see how this materialized ladies and gentlemen the whole the three wingers are very very sorry the three center midfielders attacking midfielders sorry are very very close together you can see it there alba skips past one keeps going and it looks like it's their own goal but they're going to give it to griezmann there's always going to be support for a striker so imagine in this formation ladies and gentlemen if you do have a world-class striker there i think this formation could work but you would need somebody up there. You probably may even need, maybe you could potentially maybe play a target man there, but it will be a way where you would need at least two of the attacking forwards to push further forward. Maybe a second striker might might help, um, but that is something that we can look at. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the game. Barcelona 1, United 0. T match stats we've seen, we've had 10 shots, 4 on target. XG definitely raised up a bit, 1.15. Um, pass completion 87 and possession 46. So again, this is the end of part two. Part three is going to be where we sim it and see how how it goes into the league. If we can hopefully win the league, that will be a very good one. Even win maybe a few cups as well, maybe even the Champions League. But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget part three is where we'll sim it for one year and see how we do with this tactics. 
don't forget to subscribe like and share hit the thumbs up and notification bell hit the comments below let me know what you think about the tactics anything you think we can change or add much appreciated but i'll see you all soon thank you very much and take care